Because innovation, so we have our definition of innovation, which is the art of making hard things easy and creating new viable business offerings faster. Well, that's important in the context of technology. I think we all know it's not just about technology, right? The, the, frankly, right now, technology really is at the centerpiece of a lot of the innovation that we're doing, and a lot of innovation I think you're looking at. But when we think about innovation at EY, we think about it actually on a much broader scale. So it's not just the technology, because you can't just plug things into the wall and then walk away. I think everyone knows that. It's about the people, what processes you have, who you hire, what skill sets are you looking for. For us, it's what services we offer. How do we deliver them? How do we charge for them in the future? What is our business model as a professional services organization in the future in the context of all these technologies that are happening and the, how fast things are changing? And frankly, when we think about innovation, we think about transformational change that comes from beyond sort of this fun things that we talk about, AI and blockchain and big data, but also from other shifts and changes in the world. Now, some of those uh, technologies are at different points in the timeline, right? So uh, advanced analytics, I think, has been a, around for a while and continues to grow and improve. But we wanted to make sure we continue to stay on the forefront of that for ourselves and for our clients. Um, Robotics, the software robots. You know, the physical robots I think everyone has seen and have been around for a long time. You know, what we're seeing is a real uptake in sort of the software robots, robotic process automation. Sort of bringing that same concept of bringing a robot onto a factory floor, but actually bringing it into sort of the machines and processes that run a professional services organization. Um, in the last year, it has been remarkable the uptake we've seen um, not just inside of EY, but also with our clients, which of course, uh, for those of you in the financial services organization, early adopters, this has now gone far, uh, far wider than that for us. Um, and then lastly, artificial intelligence. What's really fascinating about artificial intelligence is sort of at the beginning of the year, we thought, oh, this is great. You know, AI, it's this sort of science experiment-y type thing. We'll look at some of our problems and sort of send some lab people in and sort of see what we can do. And one thing we did is we looked at a series of uh, contracts. So we're responsible for probably, call it in the single digit millions number of contracts in the world, which means we're responsible for hundreds of millions of pages and making judgment on that. Um, and what we, so, honestly, when, I, when we first started down this process, we thought, wow, you know, this will be a science experiment. It'll take a while, right? It'll pay a year, two years before we start to see results. In the first 90 days, our AI experiment was three times more effective than the human processes. 90 days, three times more effective, right? So AI, while it is, there are a lot of cool things, and we can talk about Skynet in the future, the fact is, is there are practical things that can happen today with the AI technology.